we're gonna leave that guy unfortunately you know for the greater good he's gonna have to be sacrificed because i'd rather have the two trebuchets and the pikemen and the knight rather than try to save that one because the, the stack is greatly damaged as a whole and we're settling that great general back in the city there so now if there is a way that i could potentially get some important unit if I have, here we go, this guy might actually get there in time. He would. The question is, do I really want to bother using this unit? I shouldn't have moved my other units into the city. I should have sent this one to defend. Let's do it. You know, it's only a turn or two that I'm going to lose if I lose it. And if I defend, you know, it, it is a unit with high experience. So it's not like I'm throwing good after bad. I didn't promote that musket man, as you may have seen, because I'm not sure what I want him to do yet. Musket men are in that strange position where they just don't really have any good use at this point in the game. You know, they'll upgrade to something more useful, but right now they're stuck in a situation where there are more efficient units all around them. And he didn't kill them. So I'll, I'll chalk that one up as a win. And we've now met the Khmer Empire also cautious towards us and he's willing to sign open borders since he's nobody's worst enemy and will sign it a gladiator um we we'll just take the money really i don't need more culture in that city i don't think it's pretty cultured as it is now what are my odds against this 72 we won it's always good to win i approve of it so we got uh visegrad back or visgrad visegrad I'm gonna pronounce it Visegrad. If that's wrong, you can always correct me. So there's that. And now that we have actually captured Visegrad, I can start improving the land around here without danger from being attacked quite as much from Justinian. Of course, he can still jump in. Yeah, never mind. That's not going to be possible. We should probably switch Rome over to build. Actually, that's not Rome. I forgot. I don't have... Uh, Rome isn't my capital yet. We should switch uh, Rome back over to building the Crucieres. Or whatever the hell they're called. I'm sorry. I'm not good with that French word, I believe it is. A su... Su rassier, I suppose. Something to that effect. I'm not proud of my lack of knowledge on this subject. But I just never looked it up. And they don't have a phonetic pronunciation for it in the Civilpedia, to my knowledge. Uh, so that takes care of that turn. And we have our entire stack, our death stack, in Visegrad. So the next city to capture, I believe, will be uh, Durant, Durantium, Dur D Durachium. Durachium, I'm pronouncing that city that way. We're going to hurry my courthouse in Circle. What else can we hurry? I said I was going to hurry a unit down here. I never got around to doing it. It's gonna cost two population, but there you go. We're gonna get our uh, our longbowman in Syracuse next turn. Uh, actually, a Byzantium spy has been stumbled on near my pig. Now, Isabel wants us to declare war again, and we're not going to, because Ragnar actually likes us. So why would I declare war on him? Unless I was immediately ready to uh, attack, you know? What are my odds against the Mace Man? Not so good. Oh, he was actually foolish enough not to defend it with anything uh, that would defend against the mounted units. So silly him, I'm going to actually be uh, removing this stack, I believe. Yes. Yes, indeed. So some very... the, the AI is less than stellar. Really, their only advantage. I probably should have played it this uh, match at a higher difficulty level, but since I haven't played the game in probably six months, I thought it was a bit rusty. And the fact that a lot of AIs on this map are actually playing at lower difficulties than I am means that they're like Louis. He's at a pretty uh, big advantage as well as Elizabeth is. I'm pretty sure they're playing at only chieftain difficulty level, so they have quite a big advantage over me. And I just realized one, two, yeah, he can actually capture me. I, they have a quite a big advantage over me to the point where I thought it would be a good idea to play as, um, as a, just a noble. And not a noble. What, what is difficulty? Is it? It's a regular difficulty. I can't believe I forgot what it is. It is noble difficulty. Okay, there we go. 
I'm glad to have that taken care of, that settled. Didn't want it nagging at the back of my mind, you know. And we can't build, this isn't next to a river, so we're just gonna build a cottage on that. Trained a longbowman in Syracuse, I think we're just going to go along with that theme. Train another longbowman, and I'm gonna delete the archer in there. I completed the courthouse. We're gonna build a barracks in there. And as you can see, Saladin has some land peeking out from behind the fog of war right there. So, I was gonna delete this archer, but I don't want to maintain it anymore. It actually reduced my maintenance by one gold per turn, which is a good thing. And this city is building trebuchets again, which is good because I lost quite a few trebuchets. And I probably should let me let me check this city here. I think we're going yeah, we're gonna whip production here and then we're gonna build a trebuchet next turn. And my uh oh actually I wonder what odds those were. My pikeman was destroyed by his knight. Or the odds. Let's check the combat log. His combat odds were actually 88.5, so this must be a pretty powerful unit. 30% strength. Uh, yeah, that's fairly powerful. 57% odds. Overall, I don't have any uh, good units to counter this. So we're just going to have to throw... Wait. I think I might have completed... I have completed another knight in this city. So we're going to promote that against mounted units. And that's 74% odds. That's the best we're going to get. And he won. So now the question is, should we move out? Because I here I have a defenseless unit. I really need to heal these units because they're weak. And even a little bit of weakness is going... Yeah, but... That was probably not a smart move, but I just didn't want him hitting me again with that unit. He has a... I don't know, how many units does he even have? I lost one point somehow. I'm just going to leave it out there. No, on second thought, we're not. Everybody, let's mobilize and move out. Everything is going. Well, not everything, strictly. Technically, I could move everything out. And that might encourage him to try to take the city back. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that instead. We're just moving everything out of the city. Maybe he will take it back and we can take it back from him again. And that might be better than him focusing on my stack. We're going to move that musketman down there. And I said I wanted to build... I don't want to build any more musketmen in here. I want to build our trebuchet. And build a road on that tile. Here we have a longbowman. Now this longbowman is going to be going in Visegrad once we take it over for good. And we built a knight in here. Let's build another one. He didn't attack at all. I'm not converting. Thank you very much for asking. And it's Louis right there. Where's my musket man? Where is my longbowman? Oh, a revolt actually took place in that city. What were the odds? Now it's about 10% odds that a revolt would take place. And it did. The one turn I left it. So that's just how those things go. I can't believe I didn't build a farm here. When did that get pillaged? Did it ever have a farm there? I can't believe I didn't notice that. That was a big mistake. So all this time I could have had a farm on that tile. Let's move this longbowman in there. And what else? The pikeman. Yeah, we have promote this okay we only gonna get two promotions we have enough units in that city to prevent it from being unhappy and here we have our next long bowman now i probably should start producing something else in here it's not a really good city for producing units especially given the fact here let's produce a caravel instead especially given the fact that my city of rome is the best suited one i get a lot more experience with the units i produce there so it's the ideal solution it's the ideal city to be producing units from or in we're going to promote against mounted units because that seems to be my biggest uh weakness right now because his, his knights are on par with my uh upgraded version of the knights which i'm not the Surassier, the Surassier units, yes, that, that's what I said, and I'm sticking to it. It would take four turns to heal all these units, but instead we're going to be moving onto this hill right there. We're going to lay siege to uh, Durachium. Let's see where this takes us. Deal cancelled. Peace treaty to Louis for a peace treaty. It says resident of uh, the Apostic Palace. I'm going to say stop the war against... Saladin? I can't stay stop the war against Ragnar. Uh, let's stop the war against Isabel. She keeps, she's asked me, as has Louis. 
and uh, Justinian has just got an additional uh, bon productivity bonus on this tile, plus two production, because they found Tim there. And, um, you know, he will be surrendering that to me shortly. I can't believe the city that uh, he didn't ever build walls in it. I mean, what was the idea behind that? Really? He had the city for a long time and he never built any walls in it. What are my odds against this catapult? Fairly good. We're going to kill that catapult. Uh, you heal, heal. You skip turn. Now, technically, I don't need the wheat for Rome anymore. So we're going to give it to Salzburg. And now, unfortunately, Rome is starving because it can't work any more tiles. Huh. I didn't see that one coming. We're going to have you give up this tile. And we're going to give that one to Rome instead. There we go. I didn't know Rome had two unhappy citizens. Yeah. There's no reason that Rome shouldn't be working this tile because they get an additional production from it. And we're also going to give Rome control of that tile. So there you go. And... Okay, this city is doing fine. By the way. Now, we're going to move the worker into the galley and next turn they're going to be unloaded onto the Isle the Isle of something right there next to Italy. I called it Crete back in the day. Now we met the Korean Empire. I call it, used to call it Crete, but I'm not sure that's the name of it, and I haven't looked it up yet. So I'm going to stop calling it that because I don't want to mislead anybody in case I'm wrong. It's generally a goal of mine. If I'm unsure or uncertain of information, I won't present it as if I know what I'm talking about. You know, I like to give a disclaimer so people don't say, well, I heard so-and-so say it that way. The stop the voting fails because Ragnar voted against me. Well, he sort of stabbed me on the, in the back on that one. I was trying to help you there, buddy. Uh, but I guess he didn't want any help. I think we're going to give this one one more turn because a lot of these units will be healed in one turn. And I have a great profit. Now, unfortunately, I don't think there's anything for me to do with the great profit because I'm pretty sure. Let's see here. We're going to look for the... We want to see if all of the holy cities are built. Holy city... Um, that, uh, that actually doesn't say. I thought it would say if it was built or not, but apparently it doesn't. So what can we do with this guy? We're just going to start a golden age. Might as well. And you stay here for now because Rome is unfortunately quite unhappy with me. Why are they so unhappy? Oh, a little bit of war weariness and a little bit of uh, interfaith fighting. What's going on there? Set that galley to sleep. And we're moving about discovering China. Now, I'm just gonna continue building my stockpile of uh, Saladin has made peace with Justinian. My stockpile of trebuchets there in Salzburg. Now, what would be the ideal thing to build here? Obviously, I think we need more production. No, we don't. We need more food. So we're gonna build a windmill there. That can always be torn down later, of course depending upon how it goes. But yeah, this is really good. Uh, Rome is going to be really productive. I should probably actually build a wonder in here because all of the hammers that I'm getting, what wonders are available? I could build the palace in four turns. Honestly, there aren't any world wonders left. Maybe I should build the forge. Let's build that because that will sort of speed up production. We might hurry it just to get rid of some of our unhappy population. So, you've gotten the printing press. Now, that has actually given us a lot of um, gold because we're going to all our towns, our villages and towns, are all yielding one additional commerce. So, that's quite powerful. I have a longbowman in there, longbowman. Ideally, I want two longbowmen, in especially border cities, because while... Um, I'm just looking at a place to put to send this worker to go to work. I might just end up um, automating my workers here. Uh, while I like to have a couple of units in the city, you have to understand that the stack of that, the stack of doom is really what endangers a city. It's usually not a one-off attack. You just want to have enough to defend against those um, blitz rig attacks, blitz, blitz krieg attacks. So what should we do research next? We're probably heading towards rifling, so here I'm going to research replaceable parts, which means I need banking. I have banking research, so we're going to move right on to replaceable parts. That will also allow us to build a lumber mill. My, uh, okay, I just killed, oh dear. Yeah, he attacked me with a catapult. 
Anyway, I think it's time to take this city. Reduce defenses to not. And let's just try to remove all the units in it. I'm gonna sacrifice quite a few trebuchets here in an attempt to do this. That one actually won unexpectedly. And so did that one. And that one didn't. Can't complain overall though. So, we're down to musket men. Decent odds there. I mean, with him having about a 10% chance of winning, I'm not, I mean, those are this, the odds that I like to have. So what the idea here is usually is that you whittle all the troops down to just one, and then you'll bring more troops in next turn, and then you'll just kill them all again. Rather than capturing it because I can't actually hold it, and a lot of my units are out of uh, turn points, so. Let's see here, we have plenty of happiness in that city, so we're just moving the trebuchet into our trebuchet city. And you can build a road right there. The wheat has been finished. Finished improving that. So, I think now we're going to improve this tile. It's being worked, so I might as well make the most of it. Uh, we lost a trebuchet or two, so we're going to build another trebuchet there. And have I actually built enough culture? Yes, I've gotten over the 10 threshold. So we're going to be building a courthouse there. And as you can see, Justinian brought additional um, units into there. Oh, I didn't, actually didn't know I didn't have open borders with Peter. Now, after I finish off Justinian, I think um, if Louis is going to be the next to go because he just took over this tile from me. That was a town. And he, he stole it with his culture. So he's definitely going to become more and more of a problem as the game goes on. And after I finish with Justinian, I think Peter is definitely on the list to go next. Um, he has a, a defensive pact with Elizabeth, but she's not that much of a danger where she is currently towards me. It's not like I'm going to have to really be aware of uh, where, where she can attack me from. So he brought a whole bunch of stuff in. What are my odds with this? Not good. Promoted against melee, perhaps? That gives me the musket men now. 77% odds. Unfortunately, I ran out of uh, trebuchets. I mean, technically, I could throw these against it in a suicide attempt, but I think it would actually be better just to move them out. Mm. I, I don't know how many more units he can support with. That's the problem here. So let's, move, let's take these three trebuchets, move them into play, and take these three trebuchets and move them into my city. And then we're gonna give a few of these lesser wounded units a chance to heal. I generally just promote for combat one because then you don't have to play the whole u the units politics nonsense where you're say well which unit is the best to counter another unit and then when you select it they bring up another counter to counter your counter and it becomes very meta after a while. What city is working that tile? Okay, Salzburg is, which means I probably should build a workshop there because I think Salzburg with the weed has enough to can sustain. Of a decent population for now. Build a barracks and let's build a granary next. That's a great suggestion. It's one of the four core buildings. And let's see what happens next turn. Okay, I did complete the forge in here, which is good. Now we're back to building the Surassiers. I'm gonna be so glad when we just get regular cavalry. Here, this city can probably hurry production. I'm gonna hurry production in Kiev to speed that along a little bit. And now I think we're going to attack again. We have fresh trebuchets. Bombard with the catapult. Well, we lost, but that's what the trebuchets are there for. And once all the units are softened up, then we go for it with our cavalry and whether, whatever other assault troops we have. Now, that guy actually withdrew. I can't believe it. He had a 10, he had a 15% chance to withdraw. I wish he would have been killed. And those are pretty decent odds on my side. Still has a lot of stuff in that city. And by a lot, I mean a lot. There's a pikeman, a musketman, and a knight in there yet. That guy almost died. 0.3% health left. Now he just is the pikeman. And we're gonna take care of this catapult. And I think we're just gonna have to leave it at that. So skip turn for now. Send these units back to heal. 
here we have another trebuchet. We're gonna we're gonna fortify it there for now. And this unit needs to stay in uh, Rome because otherwise it's gonna be unhappy. Rome is gonna be unhappy, not the unit. In case you were wondering, units don't have happiness. I have three longbowmen in here, but I'm gonna have to move that out. This longbowman should probably go down here. I only have one longbowman there. And this longbowman can go here, and we're gonna delete the archer in that city so I can stop having to pay unit maintenance for it. So we have six turns of our golden age left. I wonder if there's some other building I should build in here. I'm gonna build a Christian temple in one turn. It will help uh, give me more happiness. Now he decided not to add any more units to this. So I'm going to capture the city this turn as I can move all of my units in. Yes, install a new governor. And I'm not going to need any more units in here. So I can move that. Actually, I should have moved it into my new city. So we're going to do that next turn. Promoting our longbowman up. And I'm not sure. I think this one should actually be going down towards our newly acquired city. And we're going to build culture in our newly acquired city. So I think I'm going to call it quits for this episode. Thank you very much for watching as always. And I hope to see you in the next episode.